Suppose you have a rope hanging and this is the lowest point of the rope. That point is going to be a stable and now consider a piece of the rope of length S and we want to know the position of this point. There are three forces acting on that piece of rope. There is some tension coming from this end, there is the weight of the rope and there is tension in that direction. Since the rope is stable, all three have to add up to zero. Now we decompose the tension into orthogonal components. We're going to find the position in terms of S, in terms of the length of the piece of rope. And to do that, what we're going to do first is find dy dx, the tangent uh, at this point, the slope of this line. And to do that, well, we divide this by this. So it's t sine theta divided by t cosine theta, which is tangent of theta. And on the other hand, this length has to be equal to this length to cancel out and this has to be equal to this length. And what that gives me is that, uh, well, the denominator for one thing is T zero and the numerator is uh, the length of the rope times the weight per unit of length times gravity. So all that is uh, this lambda G T zero is a constant. So I'm just gonna write S over A. Okay, so we have found that dy dx is s over a, arc length over a constant, and now we can find what is ds over dx, the derivative of arc length with respect to x. There is a formula for that, which is given by the square root of 1 plus uh, the slope squared, and we know this is slope, it's s over a, so plug in here s over a, and what you get is this formula here. And uh, therefore, the derivative of x with respect to arc length will be the inverse of this derivative, this, and that will give me a over this square root. Now, this is a differential equation that we can solve because this only depends on s and this we can integrate. And what we get is that x as a function of s is a times the arc hyperbolic sine of s over a plus constants. This constant, by the way, can be chosen to be zero if we change uh, variables appropriately. Hence, we can invert this equation and now say that s, arc length, with respect to x, is a times the hyperbolic sign of x over a. But since we had figured out that dy dx was s over a, if I divide this expression by a, I get hyperbolic sign of x over a. And again, that's a differential equation that I know how to integrate. The solution is a times hyperbolic cosine of x over a, plus some other constants, but uh, you can readjust again so that y is exactly that. And there you have it. That's the hyperbolic cosine that gives a formula for a catenary curve.